Area enclosed by a curve and the x-axis. In this video, we are going to focus on above and below the x-axis. You will find this on page 329 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Area enclosed by a curve and the x-axis above and below the x-axis. If you are asked to calculate an area, you must check the graph, very important, to see if part of the area is below the x-axis. If this happens, we must determine each area separately. So, basically, if you are sketching this graph, and I'm asking find the area between the curve, this, and the x-axis. Now, to make a sketch, I know it's cutting, um, if I factorize this, uh, the x, okay, let's say, first draw a sketch of the curve. That's very important. Um, to see where it cuts the x-axis, make y zero. So it's cutting at zero and three. So basically, that little part up to number four, it's going to be above. And this little part is going to be below. Okay, so calculate the two areas then separately and then add them. Um, so that if you get a negative value, you can first change it to a positive before you add that. So if you look at 3 and 0 and you do integration and you substitute, do you see what happens? You get a negative. But due to this fact, I mustn't change it to a positive. The same, in this case, I will get a positive. And then what must I do with the two answers? I must just add it up. Now, this is very important. If you were maybe not making a sketch and you were just doing it, you would have end up by actually subtracting and you would have seen your answer would be incorrect. Okay, so this is very important that if that you know how the sketch looks so that you can see what part you have to change to a positive before you add that up. Okay. I'm going to give you one. This is actually easy because you can see that area will be positive, that area will be negative, which I change to positive and then add. This will be positive, negative, and I add. So if I see the sketch, it's actually very easy. The problem is when I don't see the sketch. Okay, so I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. And this is very important. Remember to first draw the graphs um, from number two to four. Because here I asked you to sketch it. But here I did not ask you to sketch it. So first draw the graphs. Okay. I'm going to start. Stop the video. And as soon as you're finished, you can continue the video. It's always first best to first try it on your own. Now, I think as soon as you did chapter... Oh, then it's a mistake. Chapter 8. The sketches will also be easier, but for now, I think you have enough knowledge to make this sketch. Uh, maybe just worth it because it's a cubic. I just want to show you, and that's more just for my sketch, that if you multiply this out, and I'm going to do it here. So if you say 2 and you multiply this out, so you multiply, this will be 2x, uh, and okay, that's 2x, a negative x squared. This will be 2, and this will be negative x. So that will be 12x. I'm just going to simplify this first quickly. So 2, so this is x minus x squared plus 2, and that's going to be 12x squared minus uh, 12x to the power of 3 plus 24x. Now, oh, my pen... Now, and now I just rearrange it. And the reason why I wanted you to see this, because it's just going to help you with the sketch. I just want to move it a little bit. Okay, so it's that 12x3. Um, Let's just see. Yes. So this is 12x3, negative, and then pl plus 12 x squared minus 24x. Okay, I, I want you to focus on this. 
when I come to the sketch, that it's a negative. Now, a negative means the graph, I think I've mentioned it in the previous video, will first go up, up, down, like this. And if it's positive, so if it's negative, AX3. And if it's positive, this will be positive AX3. So just remember, I'm working with this. Okay, so if I want to see where it cuts the, uh, to find the X coordinates, to Okay, so to find the x coordinates, I, I will put I will put a zero there because it's already factorized. So please don't factorize that. That's already factorized. So that makes it very easy to find that x coordinates where it cuts the x axis. So it's just x is equal to zero, or x plus one is equal to zero, or 2 minus x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 or x is equal to negative 1 or x will be equal to 2. Okay, so if I make a sketch now, can I just show you this sketch? I'm going to do it first here. Okay, uh, where, where does it cut the y-axis? Uh, it cuts the y-axis. You see, if, as soon as I substitute 0, it's 0. So it's cutting here at 0. It's, it, it's not in, important. It's just, okay, let's just find the points. Okay, there is negative 1. There is 0. Oh, my pen, my pen. Okay, say so that's 1 and that's 2. Okay, more or less. So remember, it's coming down. Ah, sorry. I want to make it another color. Okay. Now oh, my sketch is maybe no, not the base, but more or less like that. Okay. So if I say towards the x-axis, it will be this part. Okay. Because now it's so I'm first going to the area below the x-axis and then the area above. Okay, I'll see if I can do both here. Mm, let's see if I can just have it. See if I can do it on two sides. So, area. Below. X-axis. And area above x-axis okay so to get that area I just integrate and it's from 0 to negative 1 and I'm going to integrate and now it's actually good that I was already multiplying that out uh, did you see because I'm going to use it now I just want to see um, I just see this um, I just rewrite it incorrect here I just take it a little bit down. Um, maybe it was my pin, but that should have been plus 20. Do you see? Plus 24x. So I'm just going to now going to say it's minus 12x to the power of 3 plus 12x squared plus 24x dx. Okay, and this area, I hope I'm going to fit, is going to be from 2 and 0, and it's going to be exactly the same. And it's 2dx. Okay, I'm going to try to keep my space here, so it's going to be negative 12, I'm integrating. So it's 4 over 4 plus 12 x, oh, I can put it on top, prefer, put it, so 12 x 3 over 3 plus 24 
x2 over 2 and that's 0 and negative 1. And that is going to give you, I'm first going to simplify it just because then it's just easier to work. So it's negative 3 x4 plus 4 x3 plus 12 x2 okay and it's zero and negative one okay now this is actually going to be exactly the same so i can basically just do the substitution there so i'm just i'm just going to skip this step i'm just going to say area and now i'm just going to do this because i already you can redo it just to make sure you didn't make a mistake but it's taking time And it's just 2 and 0. Okay, so it's better to finish one and then to continue with the other one, otherwise you can get confused. Okay, so if I substitute it now in, I first the 0. So it's negative 3, 0 to the power of 4, plus 4, 0 to the power of 3, plus, and I can see everything will be 0. Okay minus and now I substitute negative one and I think now my sum is going to mm -hmm. Let me just make it small okay it's just that I'm afraid that my space leave, leave it no let's just do it like that just I'm going to go a little bit in Okay, so then I'm going to say, so it's better to do it underneath. I just want to show you the comparison, but I will advise you rather to finish this one and then to do, because then you can also skip some of the steps. Okay, but for now, let's just finish off this one. So it's going to be negative 3, and it's negative 1 to the power of 4, plus 4, negative 1 to the power of 3, plus 12, negative 1, uh, square and that is going to give me this is going to become zero can you see minus and now I just going to see this is positive so it's going to be negative 3 this is negative oh, so it's going to be negative 4 and this is going to be positive so it's plus 12 so it's going to be 12 minus 7 which will then give me a uh, but be careful, that will give me 5, but actually it's negative 5. But, because I'm moving, so therefore, because it's underneath, um, positive 5. Yeah, okay, it's negative, but because it's under, it's negative, and it's working like that. And if I do this one, and now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Mm, to work with my nine. Mm. Okay. Okay. So that will give me an answer now of, now I'm just going to substitute that 2. So it's negative 3, 2 to the power of 4, plus 4, 2 to the power of 3, plus 12, 2 to the power of 2, close the bracket, minus. And I can just see this, because I see 0, 0, 0, it's going to become 0. Okay, it's not necessary. As soon as we come to the E's, I will be more careful for this step. So this is going to be 16. That's going to give me 2 to the power of 4. Uh, multiply that negative 3. It's going to be negative 48. That's going to be 8 
times 4, so it's going to be 32, and that's going to be 4 times 12, that's 48. And that is going to give me an answer of 32. Because that's going to be minus that 0, which gives me the answer of 32. So, I'm going to finish off this question. Total area, and I'm going to use another color. Therefore, total area between curve and the x-axis is 5 plus 32 equals 37 units square. Okay, so it's very important to draw the graph so that you can change the negative to a positive and then at the end just add everything up.